Beloved heart dwellers, the Lord has asked us to suggest to you to put up six months of food and necessities. I believe he's requesting this because it may be a rocky turnover when the truth comes out and the Electoral College announces second term for President Trump. So please don't get carried away with the holidays or COVID. Be sure to keep up your intercession and supply food and necessities ahead of time. And please do not starve yourself to death by fasting. Choose a reasonable fast that, such as abstaining from foods that aren't good for you anyway, such as sweets and sodas. Fast as you can, and do not deprive yourselves of sleep. Be sure to get plenty of sleep and food. If you deprive yourself too far so that you're getting sick or weak, that's a sign that you need to back off and lead a little bit more of a normal life. So I'm asking you all to provide for yourselves and others as best you can now. As far as storage goes, we've heard that metal trash cans with lids bungeed down are the most secure containers against critters. And also bay leaves and flowers and grains protect them from bugs. I understand that roots also keep well if you pad them with straw. Have necessary medications and over-the-counter meds that you use on hand as well, in case things are not available for an extended period of time. By the way, if any of you suffer from plantar fasciitis, mine went away when I took vitamin B6, which my healthcare professional told me about, and I passed that on to two different people that had it, and theirs went away as well. And by the way, if any of you suffer from plantar fasciitis, mine went away when I took vitamin B6, which my healthcare professional told me about. It went away in three days. And every person I've told about it who had that problem has been cured with a B6. It's amazing. Anyway, please also keep on hand soap, toilet paper, gasoline, candles, and other necessities. Dried fruit hydrates really, really well and is a refreshing replacement when fresh fruit is not available. And don't forget pet food and kitty litter if you have cats. These are just some precautions the Lord is recommending for you. As in all things, we have to trust Him and leaving all else in the Lord's hands. If you are living in His will and believe in His promises, It is not unlike him to extend your food supply when you seem to be running out. After all, the scriptures talk about the multiplication of loaves. The same for gasoline and other necessities. And a solar electric system is also a very good idea for backing your electricity up in case things should go down. Most of all, be praying, praying that justice will be done with this vote, that it will be honest, and that people will learn and come to know how corrupt the media has been and that they have been feeding them lies for so many years since he became president. Oh, they loved him before he became president. After that, they can't say anything good about him. And uh, nine-tenths of it is slander and libel and untrue. Uh, We're looking for alternate sources for information now, and I can give you a couple things that we've found that we know are favoring conservative news. Judicial Watch is very helpful. Tom Fitton, F-I-T-T-O-N, is the president of the Judicial Watch, but he puts out Twitters. The Epic Times is very, very good. Truth and Tradition, Fact-Based, Unbiased, Accurate News. Newsmax, Robert David Steele, Project Veritas, and it's wonderful. And they get a lot of information about scandals and so on, and they actually take people to court. And, of course, President Trump paying attention to what he Twitters and what he puts up for the nation to hear. Sean Hannity on Fox and Tucker Carlson also, and uh, another organization called The Blaze. 
and Molly Hemingway on the media. So that's about it for now that I can share with you. The DEVCON, D-E-F-C-O-N, warning system is a good place to find out what's going on around the world for where wars are and battles are and that kind of thing. It measures the likelihood of certain events. Also, RSOE, EDIS, E-D-I-S, that's excellent. They have tsunami information, they have tsunami ma maps, earthquake maps, disaster maps, uh, even accidents are chronicled from all parts of the earth. Big accidents or big events, forest fires, everything. So uh, they're an excellent source and they're in Eastern Europe. Again, it's called R-S-O-E, EDIS, E-D-I-S two words. These are places where you'll get conservative news that is true. I want to thank you, dear ones, for your prayers. They're really working. They're really helping us. And thank you so much for your donations. We have a beautiful community of 12 people, uh, one of them being in Taos and the rest up here. And that's pretty much our limit, <laughs> except several are going to be leaving on a mission trip soon. So um, anyway, it's a beautiful, sweet, sweet community. We all know each other really well, and we pray for one another and cry on each other's shoulders <laughs> and uh, pray the Divine Mercy three times a day together. And it's a beautiful community. God has truly blessed us, and we are praying for our enemies, uh, the local Satanists praying that God will bring the truth to them and they'll feel his love. I think a lot of people who turn to Satanism have never known real love and they've had a, a rough start in life. And his love is amazing and it heals everything. So we're praying for them as well. Thank you again for being part of this ministry. We care very much for you. The Lord bless you.